Hello guys and welcome to TG on the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about play games and today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and fought Muppet, the sort of leader of the spiders and like CEO of the spider bake sale. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and do a few things because there are a couple things that I want to get through and talk about in full because there's a lot of stuff going on. I feel like last episode might have been a bit short because... It was kind of an awkward period where there was only like one or two things that I wanted to do before we got things done uh, or before th big things were going to happen. And so I just wanted to get through some stuff. First of all, la last episode, we bought the mysterious key or the mystery key, excuse me. And in this episode, we're going to actually go ahead and see what that's all about because it actually leads us to a bit of interesting lore. Tra la la, care for a ride? Yeah, let's go ahead and ride in the boat, and we're going to go over to Waterfall. Then we're off. Also, uh, oh, pet, pet, pet. The next stretches infinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry about it. So that's a little reference to Lesser Dog, I believe it was. It's not really a hint. It's more of... Yeah, like I just said, a reference, because this is later into the game than that. Like, there's no way to access the uh, river person before, you know, getting through Snowden. Alright, right up here. You'll remember we have Nabsablook's house over to the left, and then right next to their house is this pink one, which is, isn't really something we could get into. But now with the mystery key you use the mystery key the red house's door was unlocked the key disappeared I'll go ahead and read through this dear diary Sharon's sister fell down recently it's sad without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive more reclusive than ever so I reached out to her and I told her that she Blukey and I should all perform together sometime she seemed to like that idea. Dear Red Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Blukey and I. Blukey asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal, too. They sounded so... resigned. Come on, Blukey. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides... I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. My darling diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork, and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Diary, my dear, my collection is going fabulously. I have, like, five now. Dear Diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can become a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blukey. My dreams can't wait for anyone. So, can you guess who that's about? Anyways, now that we've learned that bit of backstory, let's go ahead and move back over to, uh, what is it called? Hotland, yeah. I don't know why I forgot where we go today. Hotland. And we're off. Alrighty, that was just something fun that I wanted to do real quickly, just because, you know, it's a bit of interest. It's a bit of interesting backstory. Tra-la-la. -la. Dancing on a boat is, a is danger, but good exercise. I'll go ahead and meet you guys back upstairs once I've got back up there. I wonder, has there ever been an instance of an elevator that's outside that, like, takes you up to a higher elevation? All, although I guess in the real world that wouldn't really have any meaning. And I guess when it, in terms of moving left and right, that's just like a subway or a car. I don't know. 
So right here, this guy I avoid talking about for a bit because, you know, we're going to do something important with him real quick. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah. Great. Thanks for treating me. Over here. I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know that feeling, buddo. Though, maybe sometimes it's better just to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. So what you have to do, really worth it? Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey. Let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. It's perfect for practice and knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So naturally, I respond, Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again. And again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though. I know she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but uh, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean... Look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. That's right, isn't it? Well, chalk it up to my great skills. <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Someone really cares about you. That was Dinner with Sands. A really great moment. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kinda consuming dew off this ficus. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation, but I didn't want... We've all had those moments. We see uh, Metaton here up on the TV. Some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. It's a performance schedule. Comedians, dancers, sands. Seems like there's a break now. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things winding... But now, building things winding in confusion... Confusing? It's some awful tradition. You can't go... Ugh, 
two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. Oh, he's... He's Brook... He has a Brooklyn accent, I guess. I cannot do Brooklyn accents. Whenever I do, it just sounds British, but I'll try my best. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, we couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> That's not funny. So that is the father of Snowdrake from uh, pretty early in the game. Blub blub, you'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... Let's get out of here as soon as we can. Right here we have a Metaton statue. There's an inscription on this fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain built in 2010. 2010X. Metaton added last week. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel, it fills you with determination. Welcome to Am... I don't know why I keep doing that weird, like, not really Minnesota accent, just weird. I'll try something else. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotline's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice, MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can eat up. This elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. This hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. I know that was kind of just Alfie's voice, but you know what? As a slime, I'm outraged. There's so many characters in this game where it'd feel weird if I just talked in my normal voice when reading their dialogue, so I'm just trying my best to come up with anything for their voices. Wow, room service. Got my CT? No. Then, I think you can give uh, some items to these different people behind the doors and they'll give you something. I'm not really sure though. Seems busy. He's made out of slime, so he keeps dropping slime everywhere and then mops it up and then... Gosh. Alright, so... Uh, first I'll talk to this person. Yes, we know. The elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200G a room. Interested? Uh, sure, let's stay. Fabulous. We'll escort you to your room. That was certainly an experience. Also, we now have the MTT Resort theme, which is a really good song. Uh, we were just playing the uh, other song that was playing during Sands, like the Dinner with Sands section. So, yeah, this theme is pretty good. But now, it's time to enter the burger shop here. I don't even know what voice I'm going to do for this character. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day, trademark. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. The customer's always right. So, we only have 26G. So we don't have enough to buy something here. I probably shouldn't have stayed here for the night. That sucks. Maybe I can... How much can I sell stuff for? Or can I even sell stuff? Why is this person trying to sell me something? This is a hamburger restaurant. I'm just trying to survive. Ah, oh, God. Have a sparktacular day. 
crud, how am I going to make money? Because I really want to talk to that guy, sort of. Uh, also, a fun little thing is if we walk over here to where Sans walked in, it'll just say, it's just a regular wall. Can I... Ooh, maybe if I... Uh, dimensional up box A, I can take out my toy knife and my stick. And you know what, I'll go ahead and... Will Braddy and Caddy take my stuff? Thanks, but we, like, don't really need anything. Oh my god, can you go get us some glam burgers? We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you 1,000 G if you can get Metagroph Metaton to autograph my butt. Okay. Oh, this, is a, this is certainly a predicament that I'm in. Will I have to go all the way to Temi Village just to sell stuff? Why am I walking over here? You know, I'll go ahead and be right back because I really want to show off a certain sort of, not really side quest, but more of just like a side story. And so I'm going to go sell some stuff and try to make as much money as I possibly can. Tra la la, what's a game you can play with a dog? Asking for a friend. Now, is Timmy Village before this or after this? Oh, wait. Wait, I can just... So if I go through here, will I just be at 32G? Okay, I can just use this to go ahead and keep grinding for gold. It'll take a while, but you know what? I really want to show this off, so... Let's go. All right, that's 62G, which means I can actually go back and buy the uh, Starfay, I think it was. Okay, we are back here. Let me go ahead and just put stuff away into my dimensional box. Stick, toy knife. Yeah. All righty, let's go ahead and buy the Starfay. Thanksy, have a fabulous day. Let's talk. What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers. Sorry. So, I wanted to be an actor. Life advice. I'm getting on in the years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. you still got time. Don't live like, like me. I'm 19 years old and I've already wasted my entire life. Listen, I like you, little buddy, so I'll just save you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people. Unless you're one of them, they're just gonna take advantage of you. Like that time those two chicks asked me to sneak them some clam burgers, and I, the naive te teenager that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. So I went out to the alley to see those two ladies and, uh, you know, see what happened next. Then my boss, uh, saw me and asked what I was doing. I was so startled the hamburgers in my pockets tumbled out onto the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up, but as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work with Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, but little buddy. God, have you even looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time we try to change something for the better, he vetoes it and says, that's not how they do the it in the surface. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. You know, one time I bought one of those uh, kits online to uh, make yourself more rectangular. They don't work. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes. I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait, there's one thing that keeps me going. If Hasgore just gets just one more soul, we'll finally get to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's got to be a second chance out there for me, for everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. So... 
You might have noticed that he mentioned two girls trying to sneak him some glam burgers out, or trying to get him to sneak them some glam burgers outside. You probably guessed that those are Braddy and Caddy right out here. Burger pants. Oh, that guy from the star? Yuck, what a creep. Yeah, he's a creep, but he's kind of cute too. Come on, Caddy, don't you have any standards? Nope. Okay, like, the annoying thing is, he'd be okay if he just treated us with some respect. But he just acts really weird, and then acts like it's our fault that he acts that way. Like, when we asked him to get those glam burgers, he dropped them and ran away before we, he, we could even say anything. We were, like, going to share them. Really? I wasn't. Caddy. So let's go ahead and exit that and walk over here. And let's talk to uh, Burger Pants again. I don't know his real name, so I'll just call him that. The girls were talking about me. They said I should stop acting like they owe me. And if I want to be friends with them, I should just... Uh, Try to see things from their perspective? Wow. Poor, naive little buddy. They've brainwashed you. Friendship is just a hot person's way of making you their slave. So, uh, what time would they, would they want to hang out? Now let's head back on over to the alley. Oh, uh, yeah, you should come look for junk with us. But, like, if we let him hang out with us, I just worry it'll be really super fun. Um, that's not what I was gonna say. But I was close, right? Well, that kind of guy, you hang out with him once, then he just wants to hang out all the time. But don't you feel bad for him, Brady? Poor Burger Pants. Think about how cool we are compared to him. We'd be saving his life with our friendship. His life, Braddy. Uh, so? Think of all the glam burgers he could get for us. So, is he free after work? You know the drill at this point. Do you want to hang out after work? Ha! <laughs> yes! I won't let you down. Little buddy, thank you. You've brought a tear to the eye of this old man. So what? Uh, where do they want to go? They want to hang out at the garbage dump? Well, nowhere to go but up, right, little buddy? I'm pretty sure that's the end of that storyline, but let's go ahead and check out in the alley. Check out the alley just to be sure there's nothing left. Okay, yep, that's it. Alrighty, that certainly was a story. Let's go ahead and end off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on past the MTT Resort and see what else lies beyond that. There's the core that we're getting pretty close to, so maybe we'll get closer to seeing that. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.